Bill Gowdy checking in. Mm, we had a little snowstorm. We had a little snowstorm last night. I don't know. I suppose we got about... Oh. Uh, maybe three or four inches. Uh, let's see. Let's see if you can see what temperature it is. It's uh, 18 degrees outside and 70 degrees next to the TV <clears throat> up here high. But down here, let's see here. And down here. The heater shows 50 degrees. Well, 49, right now it says 49. It's bouncing from 49 to 50. All right, you close. I don't know if you can see. Turn this light on here. I close this skirt at night. And I'll tell you what, it just heats that area down there. And up here, I feel the difference. It really is. Uh, so I got pillows stacked up against the front window. I got my fellow made for the escape hatch that'll just pull down and I can get out if there was a fire. Oh. Meteorologist Whitney Williams tracking storms on your weather authority. I had to buy a new heater. I like this heater. It's it's uh taller and uh much more efficient it has a uh, remote control that works as a fan as well and uh, it tells you the temperature and then i can control the fan uh i can do the temperatures and all that and then over here is just the fan without the heat and then this is the uh rotation and then i can set it so it will come on and go off or if I only want to run for an hour or two, it's nice. It's a nice uh, addition. The other, the other one still works. It just doesn't work as efficiently. And this is a taller version, and uh, it doesn't take long. It doesn't take long to warm it up in here at all. So. This is hard when you take it again the next day. Zyrtec, mother no more. Nothing is off limits. How are things in the bedroom? It's too far. Yeah, I felt that. Look oh, shit. at the goodness. Cauliflower bread, sausage, egg, cheese, mushroom. Look at that. Oh, look at that. <laughs> wow. Messy. You know what? Mm. I need to make this complete. Gooey, <laughs> but it's good. Yeah, let's see here. Mm. You know it. I got a little Texas Pete, Mexican style. That'll make it complete. I'll tell you what, I got some of that. Uh, oh, let's see, Carolina. It's a, it's the Reaper, Carolina Reaper, I think, cheese. 
And I'll tell you, that has a little kick. But this, <laughs> this will make it complete. I guarantee it. Mm. Mm -hmm. All the difference in the world. I'm going to take you back. I'm going to take you back today. Back in the 70s. My very first scanner. Police scanner. Uh, emergency services scanner. It was a Regency. Ten channels. And you had to have a crystal. You had to buy a crystal for the frequency that you wanted to monitor. And... For the type of scanner that you had, and you you were limited with the scanners back then. Uh, there wasn't a whole lot to choose from. <laughs> um, <laughs> many things have changed over the years. From the 70s. In 1995, Bill Cheek wrote this book. It's the uh, ultimate scanner. And uh, as you can see, I've, uh, yeah, I got pages marked I've, uh, uh, there's lots of things that I uh, did with this with this book over the years it's a good book I don't know if he's come out with anything um, or if there's another book out there that talks about things have changed so much back in 1995 the internet was just getting started and uh, you didn't have access to all the information that you got now so there's probably things out there I don't even know about all over the internet. <clears throat> I do know that the scanners have changed and he talks about the future of scanners. Let me tell you about the scanner that I have today. Well, I have several today, but the most ultimate scanner that I have found is this right here. The Uniden Home Patrol 2. And what really makes this is the adapter uh, GPS. So you just turn the scanner on, plug it in, plug this GPS in, it automatically programs for the area as you go across the United States. I understand that there are some areas that um, are protected or have different technology that this scanner will pick up, but 99% of the frequencies are in here. And even to top that off, you can flash it, you can program it with a computer programmer. You just plug it in USB port right into your laptop. It is a slick deal. Let me show you. So in the box, you get the cord, the charger cord. You get the scanner. You get this little fitting right here. It's just some screws and an antenna fits in here. But since I'm uh, in this all metal camper, it doesn't work unless I have an outside antenna. And then you also get this holder. And the uh, unit just fits right in there. It's got two buttons on the top for the volume. And it's got the power button over here. It's got two ports on the end. One's for the uh, USB port and the other one's for the GPS setting. Uh, the GPS hookup. You hook up that GPS and it has its own power as well. We'll talk about that when we get to it, but uh, this isn't going to be about programming or anything. This is just a general overview of what I'm using <clears throat> and how easy it is. I, I mean, I just turned it on and uh, entered my uh, location, and it, and it just automatically, I didn't have to put a frequency in or anything. So this is for, for a beginner or professional. <laughs> <laughs> this is it and look at the size I can take that out in the boat uh, it comes with uh, rechargeable batteries the batteries fit back here 
and uh, it charges and it lasts all day long on those batteries. So if I go out in the boat, I don't have to worry about whether I have a power cord or not. I, I oftentimes I take a power cord, and um, yeah, it's it's nice. So in the in the camper, I I use this fitting and I use a remote antenna. And let's see. For a 79 year old female, she fell this morning around 8 a.m. She believes she has either a broken hip or a broken pelvis. She is alert, breathing normally at this time. There is family with her. They have advised that they're able to get her up and she is in a chair. 205 West Claremont Apartment 2 in Bowen. KDX 709 or voice D780. Shifting to the northwest 15 to 25 miles. The wind was west at 13 miles an hour, producing a wind chill of 16. And the pressure was 30.13. Today's high temperature was 25 degrees. Miles per hour late in the morning, shifting to the northwest. Wind chill readings to four below in the morning. Saturday night, not as cold. Park 10 to 20 miles an hour. Sunday night, park cloudy and 28. Once again at 11 a.m. at Burlington with partly sunny skies, the temperature was 27. Here is the hazardous weather. Des Moines mostly sunny and 24. Kansas City partly sunny and 25. I paid... Four ninety nine on sale. Yeah, four ninety nine for the scanner for just this box with the uh, power cord, the antenna, the antenna adapter. Yeah, and that's a lot of money. This kit makes a connection for all the Union Den scanners. I only have the one home patrol, but if I had a different model, it takes a different hookup. And this kit comes with every cable for every unit in scanner. You gotta buy it that way. That's all they had. So, yeah. So this is, uh, I, I think they could do something a little bit different. This is the GPS antenna. This is the GPS antenna and it, it's got uh, um, double-sided tape. You can peel that off and then stick it somewhere. And this is the interface box where the antenna and the power come in. And then it comes with a 12-volt connector. So not only do you have to have this connector, but you also have to have a USB for the scanner itself if you want to charge it or uh, use it off the battery look at look at can you see that this is just a pile of wires well if you had that installed permanently that'd be all right but if you take it uh, like i do from vehicle to vehicle or boat to vehicle it is i'll tell you what it's just a mess there's got to be a better way i think Maybe someday I'll do an in-depth review on how to program. Well, it's not really program. Well, how you can manually go through all this. It's very, really, very easy. Just plug it in and turn it on. Pretty self-explanatory. It comes with a quick guide, you know, quick start guide. But, uh, yeah, there's all kinds of things you can do with it. And, it's, uh, you know, uh, look at look, that's just the stuff on the box. <laughs> yeah. I like it. The uh, Radio Shack scanner, the, uh, I think that's a Pro 2096, and it was programmable uh, by a computer as well, but uh, the programming was a little bit sketchy. You had to download from private individuals, and they didn't have a, at that time, I don't they might have something more now. I haven't really looked into it that much, because I just haven't done anything with it. Yeah. <laughs> Not when you can buy something like this. I think I paid around, 
I want to say $300 for that Radio Shack scanner, $100 for my first scanner, uh, $500, I think it was $499, and then another $100 for the GPS hookup. So I got $600 in that scanner right there. So it's not for everybody. Yeah, there's all kinds of um, apps that you can put on your for your smartphone or your laptop or your... Uh, um, uh, notepads, your pads, or Chromebooks, or whatever. But you know, you got to dedicate them, or uh, you're limited in your usage if you're going to listen. And you know, like me, I have one on all the time. I like to take one with me, and it's like listening to the FM radio, like listening to the music radio. I like to have a radio uh, along with my scanner. <laughs> so, uh, multi-use, multitask. Anyway. I hope you enjoyed this quick little uh, view of uh, my, what I do with my scanners. One of my hobbies. One of many hobbies that I have. And they come in so handy uh, on, on days like today. When it's just too darn cold and, and crappy outside. Yeah, at least I got something <laughs> to pay attention to on the inside. Bill Gowdy out for now. Thanks for watching.